this video, we're going to go over how you can create effective jump scares in Unreal Engine. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Zector Lab. They are a team of amazing 3D artists who create amazing 3D character models. They also agreed to give me and my community a 30% discount on all of their products. Just use coupon code Unreal University. You can find a link to all of their assets in the description of this video. Okay, so before we get started with this tutorial, I actually want to go over a bit of theory. This will help us in making an effective jump scare. I kind of got this from Gavin of Two Star Games. So, the most important concept to keep in mind when you're designing your jump scare is to build up tension. Then, once you've built up that tension, you want to release it. Think of it like blowing up a balloon. So, you're blowing up this balloon, and the more air you pump into it, the more tension you create. And as you keep on putting more air and tension into the balloon, eventually it's going to pop, and that's going to be your jump scare. Oh! So, let's go over how I did this in Unreal Engine. Another thing which is helpful when you're making a horror game is to kind of feature it in a dark setting because it can make things look a bit more scary and spookier. So, we start off this um, game in a house. So we're in, uh, so we're in a house, and I basically start by heading over to the bedroom. Then once the player heads over to the bedroom, I have it so one of the props on the wall falls down. So that's a bit ominous and a bit spooky. Then I make it so one of the lights starts flickering. So that's a bit weird. So this is kind of me building up tension, filling up the balloon. Then I make it so when you stand over here, there's a trigger box, and that will slowly open up this door and it'll play a creak sound effect. I've kind of turned off my sound effects for now. And then I make it so you can even like look through and there's nothing there. Then when you try and interact with this to open it fully, it opens, although there's nothing, and then boom. I make it basically switch to this um, character model by Zector Lab, and this kind of creates the jump scare. So basically, to build tension, I basically made it so First, this thing falls off the wall, then the light flickers, and then this door opens. So this is me building up the tension, and then you're kind of like, what's going on? And then as you open that door, boom, that's when you get the little jump scare. So hopefully that was scary. Next, let's go over the technicalities of how I set some things up. So in Unreal Engine, you can easily create trigger volumes, and I made it so when my player overlaps this trigger volume, it'll basically make this fall over. So to create trigger volumes, you can just go over here, where it says quickly add things to the project, and then we just want to go to volumes and we just want to look for a trigger volume so this one if you select your trigger volume then go here then go open level blueprint you can just right click and create an event for it so i go here collision and i go add on add to begin overlap and make it so when my player character overlaps on um, this box i call this do once and then i have a reference to this um teddy model which i set up in my level and I basically just make it simulate physics. So I have um, this custom event called trigger, which will make it simulate physics. And I make it so when the player basically overlaps this box, it will simulate physics. Then I make it so after this happens, the light starts flickering. To quickly create a light flickering effect, I'll show you right now. What you can do is just go quickly add things to the project, go light, and look for a spotlight. And let's just drag this somewhere into our level here. And what you want to do is create a new material. So let me just go over to my um, light folder and I'll just recreate it. So if we just right click, go material, I'll just call this light flicker. We want to open this up. You want to go over to uh, material domain and change this to be a light function. And let me just go over to my um, light to see what I set up. Okay. Then to create the flickering effect, what you just do, we can just right click and look for time. And then we just want to drag off here and look for multiply. Then look for a constant. And make sure that this has a minimum value of at least one. Connect it into here. Then just look for sine. And then fracture. And connect this into emissive color and then we'll create a flickering effect. We can play along with this value, so the higher I make it, the more it's gonna flicker. So feel free to basically play around with that. But I just made mine one. Let's make this five, just so you can see the difference. And then to basically apply this to a light, just select your light. Then in the search, look for light function. And then um, you just wanna look for the material just made. So I called mine light flicker. And as you can see, it's flickering. 
and then this is a blueprint so I make it so when my player overlaps another box I basically um, set the light function in the spotlight to be the light flickering to make the light flicker and then for this door I made a whole separate tutorial about how to make it so you can interact with any object in Unreal Engine this door just follows that um, tutorial so you can check that out if you want to basically learn how to make it so you can interact with any object in Unreal Engine okay next let's go over how I specifically created the jump scare so I created the jump scare using a character blueprint so a character blueprint is just another character in Unreal Engine to easily create one we can just right click go blueprint class and select a character blueprint so if I just open them up they're not using an animation blueprint. Instead, if we just go over to the event graph, I call this custom event when I want to basically play my jump scare. So by default, I make it so my um, character is hidden in the game. Although when I want to activate the jump scare, I make it so we can see them again. And then the most important part about the jump scare, in order to transition them from my player character's camera to my um, jump scare's character, you need to make sure that um, your character, which you want to basically have the jump scare, has a camera attached to it. You can easily just go add here and add a camera. Then what you want to do is use this node. Set view target with blend. So you need to get the player controller. You can easily just right click and look for get player controller to get this node and then drag off here and look for set view target with blend. And then right now it's 0.3. That means it's going to take 0.3 seconds to transition from your player's camera to this camera. And then for the new view target you want it to be self. And then I simply just play an animation. So with Zeta Lab, this character came with a couple of animations. So I just play um, one of their um, screaming animations. And then I also just play a sound effect to make it a bit more scary. So that, in a nutshell, is kind of like a higher level overview of how I made this jump scare in Unreal Engine. So this was a kind of different type of video to the normal tutorials I make. Let me know if you liked um, this style. And I actually made a whole um, course about how to make a horror game. I'll also leave that in the description of this video somewhere. Check that out if you want to learn how to make a full horror game. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.